In this video, I am going to make nitrogen triiodide. There are only two ingredients required, and one of them is elemental iodine. After I broke the ampule that the iodine was stored in, I measured out about two grams of this pure iodine. Nitrogen triiodide is extremely sensitive, so we don't need that much of it. Also, notice how fast the iodine stains the paper. This really comes back to torment me later on in the video. The next step is to grind up the iodine into a mortar and pestle until it is a fine powder. This will just make it so the reaction happens a little bit faster. The iodine can then be added to a beaker containing ammonium hydroxide. The reaction that is happening is shown in the bottom left of the screen. When nitrogen triiodide is damp, it is safe to stir and handle. However, once it is dry, the slightest touch will set it off. Now that the nitrogen triiodide has been formed, I can filter off the ammonium hydroxide with a coffee filter. This was actually a rather tedious step because on my first take, the paper fell into the beaker and I had to redo it. Once it was filtered off, I distributed it onto four pieces of paper. However, while the samples were drying, they absorbed into the paper intensely. I'm not quite sure why I didn't see this coming, but whatever. I tried to set them off and got sad results. So I made another batch. This time I put it on plastic to dry, and the results were much better.